Here come the men in black, glasses on. I'm Agent T, this is Agent C. I don't know really what I'm saying or what we're doing down here, but this is Carl Nelson look with the, the Imagination sun. Station. Look hey, at look sun. at the sun. You can actually see the sun, and that's about it through these glasses, which are available at local retailers to watch the eclipse. That's right. And, and in fact, uh, we're going to be handing out paper versions of these down at the Science Center because there is an eclipse coming on yeah, the 21st. Right. It's going to be a total solar eclipse, the first time in nearly 40 years that the U.S., every person in the U.S. will be able to see some portion of the solar eclipse. Right. I want to mention quickly, don't try that with normal yeah, glasses. No, 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 no. Only these special glasses. Um, only solar eclipse glasses. Um, and we're going to do a big event down here at the Science Center. Come down and check it out on the day of the eclipse, the 21st. We'll be doing all sorts of science behind the eclipse. Um, now here in Toledo, we're only going to see about an 85% coverage. That's still pretty good. I like that's, that. That's still going to be an amazing event. So definitely come down and find out how to observe it and some of the science behind it. So I thought to start with, let's talk about what an eclipse is. Okay. So Tony, your head is going to be the earth. Yes. Okay. The sun is going to be the sun. This is the moon. All right. Now we all know that the earth rotates around or orbits around the sun. Uh -huh. The moon orbits around the earth. Right. Around your head. Now, when the moon is between you and the sun, that's a new moon, because we can't see any light reflecting off the moon. Okay. When it's a quarter way around, it's a quarter moon. When it's all the way around, it's a new moon, a full moon, right? Now, the question is, why don't we get an eclipse every month? If the moon is orbiting around your head, we should get an eclipse every month, that's right? That's right. Well, the deal is the orbit of the moon is actually tilted about five degrees. And so sometimes the shadow falls above your head, maybe just above your forehead, and sometimes it falls just below. Only occasionally will it fall directly on your face, causing a solar eclipse. The moon is in the seventh house. It's, yes, uh, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. But, the age of Aquarius. <laughs> yes. But, the, so the thing is, um, if you don't have these special glasses, if you don't come down and pick up some of our, our special ones as well, there's an easy way you can make a viewer to view the solar eclipse. Great, so you and can the, do this at home. The reason you don't want to look at the sun, it's incredibly bright with visible light and damaging UV light, all right, which you can't see. So a simple way to make a viewer is you get a cardboard box. It doesn't matter what size or shape. You get a cardboard box, and I don't know if you can see inside there, we cut a big hole, mm -hmm. and then I've covered the outside with aluminum foil. Okay. And what you're gonna do, Tony, is I have a, a, a needle here. Right. I want you to very carefully poke a hole through the cart through the aluminum foil. And I'll do over here on mine as well. Very small hole. Very tiny hole. And what's gonna happen, you're not gonna see this on the camera, but if you stick your if you point this at the sun right. and stick your head inside, you should see it. Do you see that tiny little white spot? A little pinpoint. A little pinpoint. It's really tiny. Yep. Okay. Almost we, like a cat laser, you know, when you get okay, them to run around. Okay, stop looking at the oh, cat laser. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but we can make this better, right? We can make this better by making our box bigger. So I raided our recycling bin and I found some cardboard tubes. Oh, that's great. Right? And so at the end, it's the same deal. I've got aluminum foil and I've already poked a hole in it. Oh, okay. I, 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 I did it for you. It's over here, okay. just for safety. So now, I don't know, if, if camera's not going to be able to see this, but can you describe yeah. that? We're going to line up our there we shadow. Go. Yeah, I see you got it. it. I just saw it go by. It's a very large yeah, hole, though. It's about comparison. the size of a dime, yeah. maybe a little bit. Now, when you're watching the eclipse, you'll be able to see the moon start to move across that circle. And if we, if we darken this down, it gets much brighter. Right. And you know, there's, no, there's really no limit to how far you can go. I mean, if you've got more tubes, you can make <laughs> a ginormous one. And then the image will get about the size of a quarter with something this oh, big. Oh, that's terrific. So safe way of viewing the sun. Don't look at the sun unless you have the special viewing glasses or come down to the Science Center. All right, and you can try these out safely yeah, and, and get these all together from some recycled materials. But if you want to come on down here to the Imagination Station, you're open on Saturdays today. And then if you live in Lucas County and you have a child, 12 and under, who's also in Lucas County, that kid gets in free with a paid adult admission. But really, this is going to be all happening Monday. Yeah. And that is the big day, August 21st. So that's when you want to watch the eclipse. And we'll be doing activities the weekend before the, that Monday. Okay, so everything going on, building up to building this, up to it. building your own eclipse viewer, and that yeah. is how you imagine.